Hi, this is Ron Tube. Today on Colorado the Angler, we're making an eel guide. A lot of people are struggling to find eels. They want to know where the caves are. So we're going to go over that today. I'm going to show you how to find them, what tackle to use, and hopefully we're going to get some nice trophy eels along the way. Now we're at this location, we'll go over it on the map now so you can find where to go because a lot of people say where are the caves because you've just got Spain, it released yesterday so I thought I'd make this guide to help you out. So you come to this location, you get in a boat and basically you get in the boat and go over to where there's a dam and then there's a hole over here which you drive through with the boat and go into the cave systems. So let's do that right now. Now a lot of people want to fish for eels at the moment, so that's why we're doing this guide. Also, imagine if they add a legendary eel. I can see that being super popular amongst the community, and I hope that happens actually. Well, that's one of my top three choices of the 16 species at Spain, which if they add a legendary to it, I'd love a legendary eel. Let me know in the comments if you'd like that. What legendaries would you like added to Spain? eels will be amazing let me know your top three choices of a legendary to add to spain what you would like added um, out of the top 16. there's so many choices i've already said my top three choices of legendaries i'd like added to spain would be either a common or a miracle as a legendary like 100 pound carp that would be insane battle and i'd love that i would have a Kamitsu barbel as a legendary Maybe you're like a 30, 40 pounder. And I'd also have a legendary eel. They're my top three choices. And I think they would suit Spain. They're in the 16 species list. And they would be really interesting to fish for. So now we're entering the cave system. Everyone's looking for. And it's such a brilliant place. The devs have done a great job on this. I love the lighting. You've got sort of like a Malachite green colour. Sort of airy mist. It really is atmospheric and um, can't wait to get fishing for eels here. It, it, it's what you'd imagine you'd, if you could think, like, where's the eel going to be? It's going to be in here, in this cave. There's something about it. It's sort of like treasure hunting. And uh, I can't wait to get in there and show you how it works. So we're going to go over tackle, baits used and sort of location as we fish for these eels. So there's the dock where you dock the boat. Now where I'm positioned is here. Now see that middle mass from the ceiling? You want to cast straight out towards that. It's an eel hotspot. You get a lot of big eels at this location. But what we're going to do is we're going to start with trying to get bronze or silvers and then gradually move up to gold as we fish. So the rod and reel isn't really that important. You can use a basic rod and reel as long as it holds 6 to 10 kilo line. You should be good with the eels. The main thing is the, actually the hook size. Because we're going to be starting on a size 6. And then basically going down the scale. Now this is what you want to do with all fish species. Start at a bigger hook and then just gradually move down one hook at a time. Until you get no bites. And then you generally, if you're not getting no bites, you either at the sort of limit of where that fish will bite or you've got to wait a long time for the trophy fish to bite in that sort of species we're going to be using minnow we're starting on size six so we should be catching like bronze eels on this on a six you'll get them quite quick and then basically what we're going to do is keep the same tackle then drop the hook size and keep decreasing it until we get really big eels so there you go european eels this is what I've caught up to yet, a bronze on the live. So these are all the stats and baits, habitats of where you find the eels, what to catch them on. Minnow and red worm seem to be the favorite baits I've found up to yet, but you can use other baits, which we'll go over at the minute. Minnow, blood worm, red worm, cheese. I'd personally use minnow and red worm myself. So the European eel is actually quite an interesting species. Let's go over the other details, shall we? The European eel is a species of eel, a snake-like fish. They are normally two to three foot long and rarely reach more than three foot. While their lifespan in the wild has not been determined, captives have lived for 
over 80 years. A specimen known as the Brantavik eel lived for 155 years in the well of a family home in Brantavik, a fishing village in southern Sweden. Much of the European eel's life history was a mystery for centuries as fishermen never caught anything they could identify as a young eel. Unlike many other migrating fish, eels began their life cycle in the ocean and spent most of their lives in fresh inland water returning to the ocean to spawn and die. So they are very interesting fish species. So we're on a size 6 hook, let's see if we can catch a bronze. Then what we're going to do is we'll lower the hook down. As you can see, I'm fishing at 0.9 meters. I'm not sure if that makes much of a difference, but I find if you cast towards that pillar as far as you can, it's an eel hotspot. You get a lot of eels. So it's a case of casting that. We've got minnow on, size six. It's just a case of waiting. And on a size six, we should get a bite pretty quickly and hopefully get a bronze or a silver eel. Then what we'll do is we'll decrease the hook size and slowly get lower and lower until we're sort of filtering out the smaller eels. But then when you do that, that means you've got to wait for longer bites, uh, longer time periods before you get those big eels to bite. And that's the same with all species in Colorado the Angler. The bigger the hook, the longer you have to wait for a bite. But you do filter out the small ones. So it's just a case of do you want lots of fish all the time or do you want to fish for those trophy fish? So here we go. This should be a bronze eel, one size six hook, as I was saying. And there we are. So it's only a small eel, 1.11 kilograms. But that's what we was after. Now what we'll do is we'll drop down to a size five. See what we can get on that. Now you can get bigger eels in a size five, but you'll probably filter out the bronzers. So if you don't want to catch bronzers, start a size five. And like I say, this works with all species on Colorado the Angler. People ask about hook sizes, start at a certain size and just gradually work down. And then when you stop getting bites regular, you know you're sort of in the sort of zone of where you should be fishing. If you only go down like one hook size at a time, you will gradually get to where you need to be. Don't just like go from like a six to like a three O. Oh, just go from a six, five, four, three, and just gradually work down. Don't just jump massive gaps. Because obviously you won't know where, you know what I mean, where you sit with the fish. So I was fishing near that main post when I've just seen a big eel surface. And I mean a big eel. So we've cast our, our five hook with our minnow right in front of me where I've just seen it. Just remember to adapt. If you see a big fish in front of you, fish for it. Don't just watch it. So that's what we're going to do. And it looks like it's right under my float now. It did look big as well. Remember, we're on a five hook. Is he going to take the bait? Come on. It did look very big. Here we go. So he has took it. It'll be interesting to see what he is. Is he a big silver or is he a gold? And this is what we're trying to find out. And it is a gold. So there you go. So it's about an eight pound eel. And that was on a size 5 hook. So size 5 will get your golds. But you will probably have to wade through silvers to get the golds. Like I said, i just seen that in front of me. So that's why I cast the minnow to it on the 5 hook. And we've ended up with a gold. So that's what we're after. But what we're going to do now is we're going to lower the hook again. Because what we're trying to do is reduce the silvers and bronzes. And only get golds or diamonds. So now what we're going to do is we're going to drop down to a number 2 hook. Now, on a number two hook, all you should really get is golds or diamonds. So that's what we're going to try for right now. So we're going to cast right back out to that pillow. Now, this seems to be a good gold spot. And this is a, just a general eel guide with tips on tackle location. But there is other lots of lakes where you can fish. So a lot of very big eels are coming from the north top end lakes. Which we'll go over at a later date, but this is just generally because a lot of people want to fish in the caves and know where they are, and that's why we're doing it. So we've cast out to where this pillar is. Hopefully we get a bite soon. Sometimes on the bigger hooks you have to wait a long time, so basically I've been waiting about 20 minutes for this bite. I've edited it, obviously, but we've got a big gold. 
And this is very big. I can tell by how the tackle is going that we could have close to a diamond eel or a diamond. So this is a nice balance set up. What is it? Here we go. It is a very big gold. So that's close to 10 pounds. And a lot of people think 10 pounds or over is a diamond eel. So he's very close. It's a gold, but that was on a level two orc with a minnow. So I hope this eel guide helps you out. Let me know in the comments how you get on. They are in other lakes, but we wanted to fish in the caves because a lot of people want to fish in the caves. For Colorado, the angler, we're at Spain. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.